Welcome, my lovely Leos. Come on, come on in. If you're new to my channel, I'm Carrie, Queen of Swords, and this is my glorious castle. What I like to serve here is some tea, Ruth, truth, okay? So, what we're gonna do today for my Leo friends, I wanna say thank you too for coming by. Y'all coming to see me means the world, lovelies. But what we're gonna do is the weekend spread, is what it's called. Oh, Lord, hold on. And in this weekend spread, it's a three card spread. And what it's gonna talk about is, in the first card, it's gonna tell you some, somehow, Leos, that you can um, enjoy your weekend this weekend, okay? The card number two is gonna be, what is your challenge gonna be this weekend? What the fuck, man? Who, do, who wants to be challenged this weekend? And then card number three, how can you care for yourself? Because you're gonna need to care for yourself if you're gonna have challenges, right? Okay, so I'm gonna cut the deck, signifying that we do allow divine intervention here and insight into this wonderful weekend. How can Leos have a wonderful weekend, please, Spirit? How can our Leos Enjoy their weekend this weekend. Thank you. Next it is, what is gonna challenge our Leos? Thank you, thank you. And third card, how can Leos care for themselves this weekend? Just a minute, hold on. Okay, I'm back, Leos. Sorry, I had to plug my computer in. It was starting to die on me. All right, so for your first card, you got the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is about carrying a offer of some kind of stability, security, finance, maybe even some emotions towards someone this weekend. Um, it's like a movement forward. And it's a slow movement because this Knight of Pentacles wanna make sure that he puts his pentacles in the right place, right? He's very, very slow and deliberate about how he moves forward maybe very um, indecisive person uh, in your life, or you may be in this energy. Let's get some more. Let's get some clarification on that one, my Leos. All right, Spirit, what, you, what can you tell us about this Knight of Pentacles and having fun this weekend with Leos? Be slow and deliberate, and then you got the Page of Wands, and that is moving towards some uh, little hot chick maybe <laughs> be slow and deliberate when you move towards this person that's the page of wands and that is someone who's very enthusiastic and excited and like ready to start whatever kind of passion or goal because they may be deceitful you got the ace of swords reversed what else spirit what else to tell my leos and it may be that you feel like you are gonna um you may have to come out with some financial loss from this deceit. What are they going to do? Steal from it? What the heck, man? Um, and yeah, you're going to be tired of like defending yourself around this person. So be slow and think a lot about moving towards this um, excited, enthusiastic little page of wands ready with their wand of fire to go run and do whatever and have fun because it may be something that's very deceitful or they may be being deceitful because they are coming out of financial loss and um, really ready to just like throw down all their wands basically tired of like defending or putting up boundaries maybe they let all their boundaries down that would be good Yeesh. okay so how uh, what is your challenge going to be Leo's it's the four pentacles and so that's you're holding on to something that is related to your ten of pentacles reversed you're holding on to something about being unhappy in your stability or finances or what else spirit um, when you really need to be happy it says yeah you're, you're you're needing to be happy about your childhood or where you grew up and not hold on to stuff about what happened maybe uh, you're holding on to materialistic things and you really do need to help this page of wands maybe they're not having any kind of communication or inspiration to come up out of the five of pentacles hmm. for some of you what else spirit thank you okay yeah there may be okay there may be something you're holding on to 
and this is going to cause some conflict within the home that's usually very happy because something someone shined a light on something some clarity was brought to the situation and it caused a lot of conflict here and it could have been due to something very deceitful or manipulative what else spirit and it was due to the knight of wands all right Someone who's going towards their passion and desire. I'm not, no judgment, I'm just saying. Okay. So, let's go on to card number three, my sweet Leos, lovely Leos. And you have the Six of Swords reversed, which means um, you need to try to not be frustrated and at moving into calmer waters because right now there's delays and blocks for you to move into calmer waters because of this fight here you got the five of swords here and then here's the six of swords and it's reversed something's delaying that and it's causing you to become very impatient it may have to do with some of y'all not um drinking in moderation i heard but like doing things that you enjoy like vices or things that help you kind of get through the day to cope that aren't necessarily healthy but we all do it you know eat a piece of chocolate you know but um, not to totally indulge in that because that may be what's causing you not to be able to move on. What else? And there's going to be like some fast action or movement towards somewhere you may travel or something. You may need to like leave the situation, especially if you're getting blocks and moving into a calmer space and you're becoming very frustrated. Then you're going to need to travel somewhere, let's see, to care for yourself. Because, yeah, you're going to feel really betrayed and backstabbed with the Ten of Swords. All right. What else about this spirit? Thank you. And it's going to be due to a Queen of Swords. So she may be just in this. No, I don't know. Because here we have the Devil. So. And it looks like she's holding her hand out to the Devil. So maybe she was in reverse when she <laughs> backstabbed you. But any, anyways, what this is over is you taking careful steps towards that page of wands or, you know, towards a message of desire even. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be a situation. And because there may be some kind of dishonesty or lack of communication there or you don't receive any communication and it's causing you to feel like you're having to come out of um, feeling abandoned or put out in the cold and you're gonna be tired of holding your boundaries up, your walls up. Hmm. So yeah, move slowly, like this little slow page of pentacles. I mean, not a pentacles, not page. <clears throat> Let's get you some clarifying cards with my oracle deck, okay? What do our sweet, sweet Leos need to hear? Please divine creator about this situation. Oh, my goodness. All right, so you got the most out of everybody, Leo. Yeah, because it was kind of like a confusing energy here. Okay, this may be some kind of karmic relationship that you're going to slowly move towards. And it could have like fleeting triggers or some kind of turmoil or resentment within it. And it may just be here so it can uh, teach you a lesson. Because, you know, sometimes that's what goes on. And sometimes within these karmic relationships, you have to just uh, love them by letting go. Because they were only there for a short time to teach you something. Okay? That's why you're getting warnings about whoever, whatever this page of pentacles is. Whatever this um, offering or message of desire or passion is. It could be very dishonest and it could be like make you feel like you were left out in the cold and having to come out of financial loss. And um, you're going to be tired of holding those boundaries or those walls up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh, my throat. Anyway, this could be some kind of um, union here with the engagement ring. Could even be someone you're engaged to that maybe has lied to you, some of you Leos. Uh, and this is a karmic relationship that there are a lot of fleeting triggers and turmoil. But this could be, a, be like a completion with this union is what I'm getting from this card. Is it? It's, uh, you know, we're committed or whatever, maybe at one point for some of you. Um, but, yeah, there's going to be a completion to this. And it's going to hurt. It's 
going to make you feel deeply sad because you're not going to want to let go with this four of pentacles here. And, um, there, but there is going to be a separation and a breakup here or some kind of grieving or mourning or feeling like you've lost something. Okay, Leos, I'm sorry. But, listen. Ah, here's boundaries again. Don't be sad because it may have been a narcissist and you an empath, right? Because this is the empath and narcissist paradigm. And it's uh, about someone or, you know, both partners in the relationship doing it to each other or one doing it to the other, but it's like being charmed or used by one or the other or both. Okay, and it enables people and it causes you to be tired of holding up your boundaries, right? Holding up those walls, that nine of uh, wands there. But that it's okay what you need to do for your self care right here. You need to go on ahead and find a place to go away from this chaos and this feeling of betrayal and this toxicity. Okay, I, I'm feeling that you're going to need to find somewhere to go and focus on yourself. Whether it's the lake, whether it's the park, whatever it is. Um, but focus on your self-worth and who you are and time to heal for you. Because that's what we all need to do Ugh. whenever we have a breakup or a relationship that doesn't work out. Especially if it, the longer it was, the more time you need to heal. You know, you need to really dig on in there and get up in that deep down, dirty, gross, nasty healing process. Okay? So, yeah, do some shadow work and some self-appreciation this weekend. Okay, my Leos? Peace, love, light, and Queen of Swords is out, bitches. <laughs>